What up, y'all? It's a beautiful day out here. Right now, I'm in front of the crib, as you can see. It's kind of hot, that's why I have my sunglasses on, so we're gonna leave them on, but um, I just wanted to explain something that I was thinking about. <clears throat> like, if you've been watching my videos, you know that a lot of my videos start with, or they end with black and trans, and I just wanted to explain what that really meant. So black and trans is obviously me being black, um, African-American um, or Nigerian <clears throat> or both. I think what I'm, gonna go, what I'm gonna go into also explains that as well. But I'm basically talking about intersectionality. Intersectionality is basically when you have two or more identities and they intersect, or I think it's two identities because the intersection is usually two. But sometimes you have intersections that have also have a third uh, intersect point. So, yeah. So like one of my my intersection points would be me being black. Another one of my intersection points would be me being trans. And how I look at it, another section that I could say, if we really want to get technical, would be me being Nigerian, right? Because I do see myself as an African American person. My mom is African American from Michigan. Probably have roots uh, with the South, like Louisiana, things like that. Um, I know I don't think that I think my grandmother and my grandpa and all them they they didn't they weren't born in Michigan but they migrated there so you know I'm pretty sure we're from the south you know I'm saying slavery times enslaved people that's my background on that side but I'm also Nigerian and you know sometimes I feel like I have to cut off I have to say oh I'm only Nigerian but at the end of the day I'm African American and that's intersectionality right you don't have to you know what I'm saying, stay with one identity. Like if you're Mexican American and you embrace both sides, you don't have to just say that you're Mexican, you can say you're Mexican American. You know what I mean? So that's why I say I'm black and trans because I feel like I'm, I'm obviously black, right? <clears throat> African, whatever, black falls under the term black, but I'm also trans and what intersectionality does is basically like those two things, right? You know, that creates a different experience I have a different experience than just a black person. I have the experience of a black and trans person. You know what I mean? Like those two things intersect and create, and society, you know what I'm saying? Society treats trans people one way, society treats black people one way. So you need to, ah, uh -uh. alarm's going off. But I hope you don't mind with the glasses on, it's just hot, the sun is literally right here. And yeah, but those things intersect and you have to, you, you should be able to, you know what I'm saying? You should be able to, be able to identify those two things right like a lot of the things that i go through these are because i'm black and trans not just because i'm black and it's not just because i'm trans i wouldn't put black and trans in my videos or whatever if i didn't see that it had a purpose or it didn't explain a very unique experience that's why a lot of people that look me up they find me how because they look up black transgender they look up black and black and trans they look up things of that sort right you're not just looking at videos about black people. You want to see a black and trans person, right? Um, a lot of guys like me, I've even looked at myself, right? If uh, for surgery or things of that nature, I want to see how the surgery happened for someone that is black and trans, someone that has that intersection of identities. You know what I mean? Because I could go ahead and look up a, uh, a, cis a cisgender person's surgery, but it's not going to give what I want it to give. And I could also look up a trans person's surgery and experience or transition all the above right but if i don't look up a black trans person i'm not going to be getting what i'm looking for um so i just wanted to say that um maybe sometimes you know it's also seen as a bad thing to kind of categorize yourself but i feel like when it's needed it's needed right because you know i think there's a big purpose of it right to include that right it's very important because i don't want my experience to just be the experience of a white cis passing or well i'm cis passing at this point but i mean like a white person experience no shades white people, white people i'm just saying it needs to be we need to be distinctive when it comes to explaining our backgrounds especially the way that the world is set up um the world is very categorizational with things so we need to also represent that right um i think it does everyone uh, i think it does everyone's service um you know a lot of the tragedy that's happening with black trans women you're not just gonna say uh trans women being attacked no 
we need to specify it's black trans women being attacked because the experiences of a trans person that's not black is very different from an experience of someone who is black. Very different from an experience of someone who's Mexican. Very different from an experience of someone who's Asian. Obviously, people of color do have similarities in their experiences, but I even think just the umbrella term of people of color can be kind of vague and... And you know, it, it just doesn't do what it could be doing, right? Like if there's an issue that we need to focus on that's specifically black people, black trans people, let's say black trans people. If it's an issue that specifically focuses on um, Asian Pacific women, let's say that. If You know what I mean? Like if it, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's my point with all this. Um, it's pretty hot out here. These sunglasses make it like bearable to be out here, but I'm probably gonna head inside. I just wanted to get outside for a bit, get some direct sunlight and honestly just share my opinion on that. But yeah, I love y'all. I'm about to go inside, probably do some more reading before I got class. Give my dog a snack, it's hot. He over here panting.